A local woman who lost her brother and her home in a trailer fire last month is receiving support from her co-workers. Employees at the Husky truck stop are asking people to drop their pennies and any spare change to help her get back on her feet. This was the scene back in January from the trailer fire that destroyed Rita Weishar's home and took her brother's life. Her co-workers wanted to do something to offer support immediately. That's where this idea came into play. We started brainstorming ideas on what we could do to raise money. And when the pennies went out, like out of circulation, we decided, well, what's better than everyone dropping off their pennies that they can't use anymore, right? The jar is placed by the till, hoping will be people will take notice and help out the cause. We're just hoping that doing all this, people, the world will get out and, you know, we can help her get reestablished because she lost everything. That particular Husky location is on Highway 16 and any donations are appreciated. Food, horses, and sleighs are just some of the things you can expect next Saturday. Organizers are preparing for the 10th annual Cutter and Sleigh Rally for Cancer. The Cutter Rally is a fundraiser for cancer, but it is also a fantastic opportunity for all of us horse people to get together. So it's our way of giving back to or supporting that organization as well. The goal is to raise $10,000. The proceeds will then be split between the Canadian Cancer Society and the Lloydminster Regional Health Foundation. The committee has also launched the Catch a Ride program for those who want to join but don't own horses. Not only do we have our Teamsters that can participate, but anybody can catch a ride with a Teamster. So if there's room on his rig, hop on. We're ready to go. For more information or to volunteer, you can contact Tammy at that number right there on your screen. Well, Valentine's Day is less than 24 hours away. And well, some people may not make a big deal out of it, Others go out of their way to shower their loved ones with gifts. Now, if you haven't gone shopping yet, we take a look at some gift ideas for both men and women. First up, we have the ladies. Now, Manisa brings us that story. Love is in the air as Valentine's Day is just around the corner. It's one of the busiest holidays for Grower Direct. Several employees are busy at work preparing hundreds of bouquets. And of course, top of the list for flowers is a classic. The roses are the popular thing. It's the one time a year that a girl really likes to get roses. And we have our roses are from Ecuador this year and they're especially beautiful colors and beautiful petal count, nice big roses. According to online polls, the most popular gifts are flowers, chocolates, greeting cards, and jewelry. Well, the biggest thing in jewelry is that it lasts forever. Um, and that's the, probably the big thing. It's, they have a keepsake or a memento of Valentine's Day from years past. And Wayne Fisher has seen a decade of Valentine shoppers as owner of Richardson's Jewelry. He says while heart-shaped pieces are their number one seller, Pandora is giving it a run for its money. They are beads. Uh, that you buy a bracelet uh, or a necklace and then you just keep adding beads at different occasions uh, uh, or different uh, occasions that mean something to somebody. As for flowers, if you haven't ordered already, you can still pick some up tomorrow. Better to come on the 13th. We'll have more time to help you. Uh, but the 14th, we welcome you also and uh, we'll have everything ready for you just to take out of the cooler on the 14th. Regardless what you give, Valentine's Day is all about showing your partner that you love them, whether it's through a statement piece or a simple kiss. Naramanisa, Newcap News. And how about those lucky men in your life? Barb Patiasic explores the, explores the other side of Valentine's Day gift giving, gifts for the guys. Dave Schneider finds his menswear store is busy at this time of year. Those shopping for the men in their lives are leaning towards comfort items as gifts. And they're getting to be more to everyday stuff, like we're doing a lot of sweaters, hoodies, you know, just stuff that uh, they can wear any time of the year. Lingerie may be a popular gift for women, so why not a nice pair of boxers? For new couples, why not think about cufflings or even a new tie? Just make sure you add a splash of red to celebrate. Schneider says you can even combine gifts and make a romantic night out of it. Well, it can always be a nice uh, suit. They can take you out uh, Thursday night and we can have it tailored for you. Go to one of the local restaurants and go from there. And what about the sports fan in your life? 
Megan Barron says her shop is a regular destination on Valentine's Day. A lot of women come in here and and want uh, Valentine's gifts and stuff like that. A lot of oiler stuff going off the shelves and stuff like that. And Um, what's the most popular item for your sports-loving Valentine? Yeah, jerseys is more or less right now is is the best seller. Uh, A lot of t-shirts going on as well. Hats, of course. Lots of guys like their hats. With all these gift ideas, it may be hard choosing just the right one. Schneider personally recommends something from the heart. And I, I like the personal idea. You know, we do gift certificates as well. So if you're not quite sure what you want to get, and we do gift certificates, but I like the personal touch of something in a box. You know, figure or figure out something that's you would suit and go from there. As for what Border City men really want, why not just ask them? Probably a ring or a necklace. I'd like something like made for me. I think that'd be pretty cool. Good question. Everlasting love. Maybe some gifts are easier than others. Bart Pidiasek, New Cap News. And sticking with our Valentine's theme, Boston Pizza is also getting into the spirit. Once again, heart-shaped pizzas are on the menu. On Valentine's Day, you can order a heart-shaped pizza in individual, small, or a medium size. Each pizza has $1 donation that goes to the Boston Pizza Foundation. The heart-shaped pizzas are also available through takeout. In addition, Boston Pizza is selling paper hearts for a minimum donation of $2. All of the money, 100% of it, goes to the Boston Pizza Foundation, which then they distribute it out through national charities such as Heart and Stroke, Diabetes, and the Kids Help Phone, as well as they give a portion back to our local stores for us to decide how we want to use it in our community. BP's hopes to raise $640,000, and of note, they do not take resignations on Valentine's Day. Reservations, by the way, not resignations. Some good news for several organizations in Lloydminster and the surrounding area. Hundreds of thousands of dollars will be donated in charitable gaming grants from the Saskatchewan Liquor and Gaming Authority. Lloydminster is receiving over $52,000, while North Battleford will receive almost $56,000, and Meadow Lake, a little over $25,000.